Today, we will be making this sound effect. Okay, so in the previous tutorial, I showed how you make a glitch transition effect. And with that, I had some sound effects. Now, I'm going to show a way how you can automate those sound effects directly in Premiere Pro. So here we go. First, find the two clips you want to transition between. Go to the middle like we did before. Shift left arrow, shift left arrow twice to go 10 frames. And back the other way. Great. This also works on the nested sequence. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight both of them and click nest. You can name it. I'm not going to for now. And now we have a nested sequence where our cut happens. Okay, great. Now we're going to add the effect. So first, go to Effects, type in Pitch Shifter, drag the Pitch Shifter on, go Effect Controls, Edit, and I have mine set to Deathly Ill, and I bump this up to about 10, this up to about 60, 64, let's see how that sounds. Okay, let's get in there. Maybe we'll bump this up a little higher. 82, I like that. Okay, so you can mess around with this as much as you like, you know, go nuts. This is just a baseline for you to improve upon. So yeah, the pitch shifter, we'll go to effects, and then the next thing we're gonna add is a little distortion, a little distortion, audio effect distortion. Drag that on, effect controls, edit, and ultimate failure. Drag the negative down. It's about there. Again, play around with this to your liking. There you go. Something like that. X, and play that back. Now it looks kind of weird because it's just like, why is the glitch happening? So we'll add our glitch effect preset that we saved from last tutorial. Glitch. Boom. Drag that on top. And there we go. Just to smooth that out a little bit, I'm going to highlight these, unlink them, control D to add a constant power transition. Control D on the other side to add a constant power transition. Just kind of smooth out so it's not so harsh. Oops. Not helpful, ESPN. And now that we have the glitch effect with the glitch sound effect, we're going to control click all of these and save as preset. And of course, you can name this however you want and drag it onto your clips as you see fit. So, thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. And if it was, subscribe for more because there'll be more coming in the future. Thanks.